What are your concerns about the resolution that was passed today? Well, my concern about the resolution is really a lot of the statements aren't factual, and I think that it's very partisan the way that it's written. And I don't think that it's really encompassing the way that most of the county feels about cannabis legalization. Um, and it doesn't really provide a distinction at all between full recreational cannabis use and medicinal cannabis use, which we know based on previous statewide, well not statewide, but countywide referendums that even in the most conservative counties, you have over 70% of people supporting medical cannabis. And so for us as a county, without putting out a state or a countywide referendum to gauge what the people think, we're, we're making this broad statement based on a few county board members who have never participated in legal cannabis. We're basing this resolution on what they think instead of what the actual people of this county think. What about the first reading on the uh, ban of establishments? Yeah, I mean, it's very concerning because, what I mean, I think that legalization is just a foregone conclusion, even though Wisconsin doesn't have it yet. It, it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when. And I think that us as a county preemptively banning retail stores is a step in the wrong direction. We are one of the, if not the poorest county in the state. We are also one of the oldest counties in the state. And I see cannabis, um, Yes, absolutely, there are some minor issues that come along with cannabis legalization, but the positives, in my opinion, outweigh the negatives, particularly with medical cannabis. Um, and I think that the ability for our county to generate tax revenue from direct retail sales in our county is something that could really boost the coffers here locally and help us deal with a lot of other serious issues that we're facing funding-wise. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, I would just really like to add that I'm not here to be an adversary to people and, and and I know that this is a controversial topic but I think that we can move forward in a, an intelligent way that that lets this county remain relevant in a changing legislative atmosphere around cannabis. Um, I really do care about this county and its residents and I want to see them have first and foremost safe access to a product. We're seeing a lot of a lot of scary reports coming out about cannabis products that are unregulated and how people are, uh, it's not the cannabis itself, but it's the things that we add to it um, that, are, that are causing the problems. And the only way to get around that is to regulate it, test it, um, and, and safely access that through, through dispensaries and a legal system. So You're referring to vaping in that case? Yeah, vaping. It's not really the THC that's the problem because people have been vaporizing THC for, you know, 50 years. It's, it's the vitamin E acetate is the issue when, when they when you're vaporizing vitamin E acetate it binds with things in your lungs in a certain way that allow it not to kind of regenerate itself and so then you end up with certain diseases but again it's it's not coming from safely tested markets it's coming from black market you know bootleg producers so how do we get how do we get rid of that well it's not by making more black market mm. it's by it's by creating a white market for people to safely access a tested reliable safe product